Okay, so we are back with more Banter Blitz Cup action, this time against Nils. Grandelius, uh, very strong grandmasters, has also been in my team for world championships. And we have the ridiculous situation in that we have a Norwegian and a Swede playing and we're talking English. Uh, also, hvorfor skal vi sitte her og snakke engelsk? Når det er norsk og svensk? Er ikke det litt frekt? Um, so, that's the first malfunction of the day. Mouse not working anymore, camera not working anymore. Apparently the USB settings are messed up, but my computer says that it's fine. Appar evidently it is not. This is just a bit vexing at this time. I don't have time for this stuff. Um, okay, I guess I'm back. USB is working again, sort of. So we got some kind of, we got some kind of slab. Don't really know why I'm playing the slab. Last move we could have gone e4, maybe I would have taken, then going e5. See if I could get that pawn back if he goes uh, for um, for d5. So now we got a normal position, except that his knight is on d2. I do feel as though this may be an advantage for for me um, compared to the compared to some kind of normal situation. And now it's, it's messed up again. Okay, I guess I'll take, try to get in B5. But I'm not altogether convinced by the, by the position that I have here. It's probably just the USB settings at my computer that is just completely out of whack since whatever camera, like webcam, everything I tried to use, it always mess, seems to mess up. And um, one thing is when I, I used to, to drop the camera and that's, I feel like that's sort of, um, that's the thing that can happen. That's obviously not a system malfunction, but this is, yeah, this is annoying. Um, okay, so I don't know why it happens here because the mouse was fine. Um, mouse was fine when all of this is not happening. When all of this. Okay, so, uh, so the game, to speak at, about the game for just a sec, the game is proceeding fairly slowly. I think I'm completely fine. I'm going to go E5 probably at some point here. Um, maybe Knight C4 now. Yeah, it's probably quite pointless. You can go A4 later on. I thought I'm giving him a weakness, but... Uh, at any event, I'm completely fine and keeping the game going. And hopefully I can try and um, get some advantage late in the game. So here the knight on d6 defends b7 perfectly. So this means that I may have a slight initiative now since I do have a feeling that my knight could, could be better than his, his bishop. I'm also intending e5 on some, some lines. One thing he has got to do speed up you cannot you cannot continue to play slowly here then you will have no chance so i guess i'll go e5 fe and i'm threatening to take on a4 he goes for a counter play here with the king uh it's quite natural but i'm not sure it's actually going to lead anywhere 
Okay, let me go B5, uh, Rook C4, Knight E4, I guess, takes. Oh, yeah, some kind of play. Okay, King E6, push the pawn. Okay, he's resigned, probably a bit prematurely, but clearly uh, his time was a was a decided decisive factor, even though he uh, he was maybe not quite as dead lost as as uh, it might have seemed. Okay, so we got ourselves a Sicilian. Let's see what he has. In mind here, let me go a3, which I did in some other games as well. Maybe he's prepared for this now. e6, then I'm gonna go g4. Hoping to get a um, h3 um, knight or with, with the extra tempo. Um, it might not matter though, but meaning that I've, only, I've usually got to play a3 in those lines anyway, and now I haven't had to spend time on h3 and then a4. Yeah, so he's preparing a quick b5, b4 in case I castle. I'm, go I'm going to castle anyway. I'm just going to go b4. I don't care. Next, I want to go f4. And I'm claiming that since he cannot develop so easily with uh, with bishop e7, that my position is good despite my weakened king. Okay, I mean, this was absolutely overzealous. You can just take on d4. And uh, um, okay, he could have gone rook a8 as well. But uh, yeah, exactly this. And I suppose he's just much better here now with uh, two minors against uh, against the rook. So he takes an e4. I guess I should take on b5 first in order to get rook e3. If I had gone rook e3, maybe he could have gone bishop c6. Um, and I'm not really sure. So now he cannot go bishop b4 because of rook e4. Not really sure he played this perfectly. Okay, I guess bishop d3, trying to, to exchange some pieces. Bishop d6 is very sensible with bishop e4. There is bishop f4, so I guess I gotta go rook f1. Yeah, now I gotta go C3. King C2. Obviously, a lot worse here. I'm just trying to hold on. King B3, maybe. I was considering Bishop B4, but then D4, I thought, and maybe. That would be pretty favorable. Okay, this is also also pretty bad, of course. D4, now I'm gonna go C4. Now may, I may have some kind of play. So what to do, King A4? Or I can take and then C5 also? I don't think he's played this perfectly. You can go Knight G4. I guess I'll just go h5, try and save that pawn. King d3, I'm in time to, to stop, stop his pawn. Uh, and he's definitely got to fight for a draw now. h6, trying to keep that pawn as an asset. 
Knights. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, I'll go King C4. I'm not sure if this really works though. So my point is, I'm threatening mate with b5. If he takes the pawn on b4, I wanted to take an h7. And if e2, then rook e7, e1 takes an h7, and he cannot stop the pawn. But he can go knight d5 at this point, which might be a bit uncomfortable to meet. Yeah, exactly, knight d5. Very strong move. What can I even do now? King D. Yeah, I guess I gotta go King D3. This is definitely uncomfortable. King C2, and if E2, there's still Rook E7. Oh no, there is not. Yes. He yeah, has so Knight G6. Okay, so I gotta try and flag him. Not so easy. Oh, my mouse is back. I gotta go to right, worse, the wrong corner. Oh, he's not gonna make this in time. It's gonna be a draw. Okay. Chance. Okay. Uh, there is no laptop camera. Hey, cute. It's actually snowing now in Norway. Never thought that would be news, but that is news. Okay, knight of three again. Guess I'll go knight of six this time. Try just to play a symmetrical game. Oh. What should I do now? Knight c six? Okay, I'll, I guess we'll play, oh, he goes d4, I was only thinking of, yeah, I don't know why I'm playing this land, this is not very good. Well, it's actually not that bad, but the problem is that I don't really know it, that's the main issue. So go bishop f6, there's knight d5, right? So I should take on d2, but yeah, he takes on c6, and I'm just worse. Okay, but it's, it's probably not a whole lot. Rook d6, trying to use him to exchange and improve my pawn structure. Now I'll go rook d8, and I'll just wait. At least for the moment. Yeah, king e1, but I'm not sure, really sure what the idea is. Idea is knight a4, but whenever he goes knight a4, knight c5, I can just hide. I can just hide the bishop on c8. So I don't think that's uh, that's really a big deal. Knight d3, I guess I'll go f4, try and be a bit active. Knight c5 back, I'll go knight f5. If he goes knight b7, trying to force the exchanges, I'm gonna exchange twice. Take on, then I'm gonna take on g3 and I'm gonna go h4 and get myself a pass pawn. And although he does have some advantages to his position, I don't think. He's going to be better there at all. And also in this case, um, also in this case, it's very clear that I'm not worse. Um, since now his pawns on the queen side are a bit weak as well. Knight c5, I don't get. I can just go king d4. King e3. It's gonna have to be really careful not to get mated here. F3 and so on. So F3 is winning, I think. Take it, take it, F2. 
that's game over. Okay. Not a bad game. The opening was not ideal, but after that, it was um, it was pretty smooth. Um, I think he definitely uh, made a misjudgment there in going GF and then exchanging rooks because with the open position of bishop against knight there, um, then. Um, Then uh, all of a sudden, it was not really uh, it was not really a factor at all. That um, I don't know why I'm playing Bishop G5. It's just um, okay, whatever. What do people do here? F3, I guess. Okay, this is just sense senseless when he's. When he's not put his knight on f6, I should think more. Bishop d3 now. It doesn't look too bad. If you compare it to the Italian, there there will be very similar structures. And in those cases, white is not considered to be doing too badly. And also here I got some. So should I take on d6? I think I want to take him d6. The point is, after taking d6, I think if queen b2, I could have gone bishop a3, queen a1, and then queen b3, and at least superficially, it looks very, very interesting for, for white there, as the queen might have been trapped. So this move is, is a bit annoying. I really like my queen on d3. Don't particularly want to exchange, but... Uh, I guess that's what I got to do. If he goes bishop g7 now, I have a couple of interesting options. I could... Yeah, I guess... I, I really don't like my queen in d2 now. He has knight b6 and knight c4 in some lines. The point was that in case he would have gone for... Um, in case it would have gone for bishop g7, I wanted to go f4, f5, and just, uh, yeah, so takes, rook d8, if knight f3, there's knight e5. I don't, don't really like that, so I'm just going to go knight f3. Mm. King b1, c5, I'm going to go knight e5. Now, the point is, I sort of wanted to wait for bishop g7, where he was going to commit his king before I wanted, to, before I was going to go for either, should I go e5, preparing knight e4? Or should I just go b3? b3, go c5. Yeah, I don't like that. D5, we're going knight d5. Knight d4 is better, of course. Yeah, this is probably not great. Knight e4, I'm counting on d5, d5, queen b5, b3, knight e5. I'm going to go knight f6, bishop f6, g f6. And uh, then if knight f3, I have queen h6. So that's what I'm hoping is going to work. You can go knight g4, though. Yeah, that's that's much better, of course. And he has queen f5. Yeah, so once again, I'm probably just worse as white. Well. It's a bit of a shame. If I could, if I could only get a move. Can maybe have some tricks here. Don't really see why it doesn't work. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go for this. 
Got knight g5, but I don't believe it at all. You can go queen c3. Huh. Okay, now I'm just fishing in muddy waters. Ninety four doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I don't think it works at all. Now the camera is probably out because the, the mouse is out as well. Yeah, this doesn't work at all. Let me take this one. Okay, rook c1. I just got to try and hang on for a bit more and hope you lose some time. But it's a real, it's a real problem that can I play quickly because I don't have a mouse. Oh, he just blundered his screen. That was pretty lucky. Take it, run. Okay. Yeah, so far pretty good with black, pretty lousy with white, but the score is excellent. So not one to complain. Try and unplug these things as well. So why my computer is telling me that my USB devices are okay, that that I will not know. I don't think he really expected me to go for a quick okay, so we go for the uh the English opening. Let me just go d6, d6. Let's see what he has in mind. Yeah, there are several attempts for white here. I don't know. So what is the point now if I take and then try to knight f5? There is some point, I think. Probably not supposed to do this. And video is back. But don't hold your breath, people. It's probably gonna disappear pretty soon. <laughs> Okay, meanwhile, we got ourselves a pretty complicated position. But I'm just gonna try and try and play quickly and confidently. Who knows, yeah? It doesn't look that bad for me. At least at first glance. Knight of six. Ah, he wants to. He wants to take on c6 now. Try to... I'm take on f2. How is taking on f2? King f2, queen g5, I'm threatening two pieces. If knight e4, I can go queen f5, then take on c6. Shouldn't be too bad. And if knight e8, King g8, and he probably, he has queen d6 though. It's really complicated. Queen d6, I can take on c6 and then on, no, it's not ideal. That is not ideal. So I can also just take on g5 though, but then he, then he goes 98, takes queen d4, e5, queen d6. Seems to be threatening two of my pieces there as well. So what am I supposed to do? I guess I'm gonna take him too, but I don't think it works for me. 
But at least I got some some material. Queen D6, B, C, take on B8, Rook E8, and I'm worse, but might have some practical chances. Yeah, Queen D4 is also an option. But I get time for E5. I'm not really sure if that if that's an advantage for me or for him. Bishop f5, I guess. If he takes on the rook on b8, I have a check on d2, which might be annoying. Rook e2, queen d4, I win the rook on a1. I feel as though I'm really hanging in there now. Can go now f6 and then a4. Then I go queen a6, h6, he takes and I don't think it's convincing. Oh, he can do this as well. I go queen h6. Rook d8, I feel like I'm getting counterplay now. Even if not real counterplay, then I'm sort of fine. Queen d6, okay. I gotta just simplify and try to, to win on time. Okay, I'll just take that. I didn't, didn't like my bishop at all. Rook d6, just hold. Rook d7. F5, go with the king. King is going to h5, where it's going to sit quite brutally. Okay, c5. Rook e7, I go h6, I go king g4, and I got counterplay. Okay, I didn't see, didn't see this. That's a bit of a shame. I wanted to put the rook in c2 first. Okay, I'm probably doing pretty poorly now. Objective. Okay, now it's a draw. Okay, that's all right. Keeping a nice cushion. Still no losses, even though from the quality of my play, that would have been deserved. So he's playing out of three all the time. So I'm gonna serve him with some some dull chess myself. C3. Trying to get D4. Okay, he gives me two chances, then I'm gonna take the pawn. Yeah, this is logical, I guess. Castles. I guess bishop e3. Knight g4. I'm going to go bishop d4, e5, h3. Takes, takes. And don't know who's better than why. Probably fairly equal. I'm going to go g5. That pawn would have been attacked anyway. Queen d2. Preparing rook d1. So he wants to go b5 or what? Now I got knight d4. I was pretty sure d5 was a great b5 was a great idea. So now I feel like my my knights are getting to the squares they, they want to go to. Queen f4. Bishop b5, I got knight f6. Looks quite juicy. Also rook e5. I guess I'm just gonna go knight f6. 
take back with the pawn and hope that the um, pawn on f6 survives long enough to cause him some real, real annoyance. Could go for a bit of a funny line here. Take on e5, then knight c6. Queen f6 though, take b8. Yeah, it's too much fun not to do. I, I had good alternatives like queen d2, but who cares? I wanted to do this. If he saves the rook, say queen f8, I'm gonna go knight b8 followed by rook c1. If he protects c5, I'm gonna take on c5, then rook d7. If then h5, to try and prevent mate, there is still mate because rook d8, king h7, bishop e4. And um, so yeah, he's gotta do this. And now he's probably doing quite okay, but rook c1, I'm still getting some activity here. Should I go knight d7? I guess I should go knight d7. My intention now is if he goes queen e7, I'm going to go b3. And if bishop d7, ba4, and I'm threatening rook c7, he probably has to do something like bishop e8 in order to, to save that pawn, uh, which could be a potential potentially very dangerous passer. And yeah, knight b2, but this I don't believe in. If he takes on d7 now, I got rook c7. And those rooks are gonna infiltrate on the seventh with um, with thunderous force. Yeah, so he tries, he tries to complicate it, but I don't believe in this at all. Uh, but I gotta prove it somehow, of course. Knight c5, maybe? Yeah, now I got rook c8, knight rook c2. Oh, now I'll slide again. Rook c7 coming next. Bishop e4, that's gonna be the end. Rook g8, slamming the trap shot. He doesn't even have a check. And, um, that was a fun game, huh? <laughs> Finally one that I can be pretty happy with, I think. With a queen sack and some... So a game that started out sort of dull in the opening really caught fire. Um, good stuff. So I got five points, need three and a half more. Um, and um, so far I'm undefeated, which is something I'm happy with. Gonna try for an he for an hedgehog, or you see a hedgehog, because there's no, you actually pronounce the H. Oh, she goes bishop g5, huh? He doesn't want me to, to set up the hedgehog. Okay, let me go e6. Probably knight b5 is strong here. I'm gonna go d6 and pretend like everything is okay. After I was well pushed before. Here I feel like I'm sort of sort of fine. Yeah, should have gone h5 first, not to allow this. Also forcing his knight to d4 where it can attack. e6 might have been more than a little moronic. Uh, I guess I should castle as well. The usual automatic moves, tucking in the cane. Okay, let me go f5. 
So after EF, I'm not intending bishop g2, but I want to get knight f6 and then e5. And I've sacrificed the pawn, but at least my double pawn is gone. Um, and now, now at the very least, I can go knight e2. No, sorry, knight f4. But I guess I should take the pawn first. Just drop the bishop back. And now I'll go polygon 94. Or should I just go h5? I guess I'll just go h5. The thing is that knight d5 is never a threat as long as the queen is on on um, on h3. Uh, sorry, on h4. So yeah, a a3 uh, is obviously a useful move, but it probably means that he doesn't have he doesn't have any concrete ideas at this point. Let me go knight d5 now. Try and get those queens off. Now that his knights can no longer get to d5 so easily. Bishop d3, I think I'm gonna go. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I, just, I guess I'm gonna go. Oh, I didn't even see h5 was hanging. Okay. Never mind. Okay, okay, here. Bishop f4, h1 cannot be saved. If rook g6, I got. Um, I had uh, knight e4, I think. Oh, he takes back with a pawn. I didn't expect that. I just thought he was going for... Yeah, this is a bit unpleasant. Okay, let me go king c7. Since bishop covers the square on c1. If knight e4, I'm gonna go a5. Trying to clarify the situation. Here he's probably gonna go rook g1 next. Now at least I got a rook pair of rooks off the board. Rook h7. Try and clarify the situation with a5. Okay, bishop a6. It's going to be a question of time here also. At some point. Rook e7. Yeah, that was no good. That was really not very good at all. Okay, I'm trying to preserve some counterplay there. Bishop goes to c4. Okay, I'm going to take on my d5, obviously, when I have the chance. Knight of 6. Rook ending should be okay for me. Okay, I'm not going to give him a draw immediately. Rook a1 is the threat. Now he's really drifting. Yeah, he could have gone rook c3, and now he's just dead lost. Okay. I got 13, 13 seconds, almost 14, so no worries whatsoever when it comes to time. Okay, getting closer, getting closer to the goal. That was a bit of a messy game though. He definitely outplayed me at some point. I overlooked or underestimated that he could go C5 at some point, keeping the um, Keeping a strong knight on b4. Okay, let me see. Gonna try some of my prep. He goes for the Grunfeld. And I've been playing this line with h4 recently, so let me see what he has up his sleeve. This is a serious guy, though, so he's probably prepared it.
B6. So I guess the idea is Bishop A6 next. I'm gonna go Rook C1, prevent that. Obviously now Bishop A6, I take an A6. And then on C6. And now with H5, I guess I'm just gonna go F3, King F2. Play for the slow attack. Oh, now he has, now he has uh, this move, huh? That was his point. Okay, gotta go for positional play now. Take a six. And I'm just pretending that this bishop on h8 is going to be a problem for him at some point. Knight d3, I'm going to, I'm going to go king g3. I don't think that's a major issue for me. Knight c2. Should I go e5 first? Yeah, I'm going to go e5 first. Just try and lock in, lock in the bishop. Knight e3, I'm just going to go king e3. And he's got some real issues with uh, with his bishop. I guess rook c1. Takes, takes, queen. Queen f1, I got queen c2, threatening mate. Looks very, very good. Oh, he got queen c8. If knight moves, you got queen f8. So if you queen c8, I gotta go king d2, I think. Then try try to meet queen f8 with queen e3, but that's not the least bit convenient. Queen f1, I think, is not very good. Queen c2, and he's in world of trouble queen yeah this just doesn't work queen f1 knight e2 and i'm safe and meanwhile he's just gonna he's just gonna get mated or or lose decisive material there Okay, king of eight, I didn't see. I can still go knight e2. And as I'm sure a lot of you may know, knight is an excellent defender of the king versus the queen. So now, now the knight next to the king means that he has no checks. And also here, he has no more checks pretty much immediately queen g7 but i can just queen the, i can just queen the, the pawn king d1 no more checks g7 sorry h7 happening next and that's gonna be it okie dokie 7-1, two more points, and we're home. Or one and a half, rather. But I'll take two. I'll try to, to win two more games. So let's see what he has in store. He's clearly prepared knight of three, so we're just gonna continue with that. Let's see if he plays the Sicilian. Nope. This I'm just not prepared for at all. What should I do now? Uh, 
Um, trying to look if I have other USB drives. Okay, I'm I'm gonna play play the Maruti. Is this just something embarrassing that I've blundered? Probably. It's playing very confidently. Doesn't look like I'm doing too badly here, no? I guess it's still probably better. Huh. It's interesting. B6, maybe. Bishop F3, Rook B8. Trying to get Bishop B7. I could play d6 instead, but probably I'm just losing that pawn somehow. So I feel as though this is safer. I'm not that sure about his opening concept here. Yeah, maybe. I wanted to go f4, that was my point. Bishop f4, knight d4. Where is he gonna go? I'm just gonna do that. So I'm giving back the pawn, but hopefully the position is gonna be, it's gonna improve. Now I see that he's got bishop g5, which is not good news for me at all. This one I'm very happy to see though. I go bishop d5, I'm forcing cd because of. Yeah, because if um, um, bishop d5, there was knight e2 with a, with a fork, getting the bishop on f4. So. Yeah, I think taking was a mistake. Now, if he goes, let's say, bishop g3, I got rook c3. Which may not be a big deal. He goes queen of e4, and I cannot really take twice and f3. So yes, um, he has a bunch of counterplay there with. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna go h5 first. Okay, mouse is back. Just comes and goes. Okay, now h4. No, rook c3 is gonna be really strong. I have to speed up at some point here. But the position is very, very good now. Take f3. Bishop b5. Then I have queen g5 check. No worries there. If he, if he goes queen e8 takes on d7, I can take on f2, I think. Should be doing really well. Queen f3 is... Uh, Probably a threat, even though it's queen g4 there. Queen g4, I can go rook takes a2. Queen d4. I think I'm just gonna. Oh, actually, maybe I cannot. Thought I could just uh, exchange rooks there, but maybe it's not so easy. So I'll be a bit more careful. Now I can exchange rooks. Okay, he had very unfortunate timing of a pre-move there. Didn't anticipate rook a1. Okay, a1. This means a win or a draw, and I'm through. So let me play Lawrence Trent style this time. What better way to um, to ensure that you don't lose the game? G4. This happened in by now very famous banter blitz game that I had as black against Lawrence, in which I thought he he was doing fairly well, which is why I've been repeating it a couple of times. As what? 
is 92. Rerouting that night. So basically we just got a pretty normal London system, but where I have a bunch of extra space on the, on the king side. And whether that is actually useful space or just weakenings, that is of course the big question. Um, okay, I'll take, take c5 and then I'll go g6. Straight for the juggler. So I'm thinking if fg I'm going to go, um, yeah, now f6 I'm going to go knight d4. If fg I would have gone queen c2. Obviously, no bishop e6 because of the pin on the h file. Um, and now I do have a fairly unpleasant threat of. Okay, so he is still actually allowing knight e6. Um, he simply believes that if queen, queen um, e7, then that the knight is just going to be trapped and I cannot do any damage whatsoever. He's probably right. So I'm gonna go knight f5 instead. Now you can cancel queen side. Then I take on g7 and I have a threat of knight e6 next. Yeah, bishop c8 is very logical. Uh, if I take on g7, I think he, yeah, he's got king f8. Then I don't really see what I can do. Knight h5 takes knight e5. Yeah, this doesn't seem to work. I'm just going to go knight h4 then. Breaking the ping, now threatening to take on g7. And now at least I have a free move, which I can hopefully use for something useful. Next, probably I'm going to cast the queen side. Probably not after this move, but now we're going to take a g7. Knight a4 was just way too loose. This doesn't work at all for him. He was also taken on c8, but I feel like this is even stronger. He may try to take an h4. Then I'll take the rook, I think. And that g7 pawn is going to run pretty fast. Just feeling intuitively that this must be winning for white now. And if you take some b2, I think I'll just take g7 and, and run. So he goes rook g8, but now I'll take I'll take here. And I'm going to infiltrate somehow. Is that? Okay, I gotta, I gotta speed up at some point. Oh, this just doesn't work. He takes in c3. Queen c2, exactly if queen d3, I cannot go, I cannot go to, But he's got to play for a win. That's his problem. Draw ends the match. So now he sacrificed the knight, but I'm not sure for what reason exactly. Maybe you could have tried queen b2 there. But now I'm just winning. Yeah, unfortunately for him, he needed to win. King g1, and now I'm safe. Okay, that was a bit of a mess. You probably could have made it somewhere. But um, yeah, the match is over. Uh, looking forward to the 
to the semi-final, which is probably going to happen fairly soon. Good game to, uh, to Nils. Obviously, he beat a lot of strong players to get here. And um, Congratulations, Magnus. Well, yeah, thank you. Much. I love it, this uh, sacrifice of Queen in E5. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure it was that good, but I, I thought the, the game was, was fun and certainly the conclusion was, was yes. good. I think you played very well with uh, White in the games. I love it, this Grunfeld with uh, this point in six and e5. It was nice. Right? Yeah, I think it was. It turned out a bit easier than it should have been because he could have gone for the plan with Queen of Eight there at some point and made it difficult for me. But I think, I think in general, uh, my play was pretty, pretty good today. Um, I mean, beating such a strong player with uh, with um, with that scoreline, I should be very, very happy. Yeah, yes, you play really, really well. Okay, um, uh, today a lot of people is talking about uh, your new uh, event uh, will happen in 2024 in two weeks. Can you talk a little about uh, the event? Uh, yes, of course. We're going to have the first Magnus Invitational not my choice of name but uh, <laughs> still i'm not complaining obviously uh, yeah i'm loving the the format um with uh we're going to see, see exciting matches every day uh and hopefully it's going to be something that both the public and also the players are gonna enjoy a lot in these um not so joyous times Yes. Okay. I think uh, really uh, everyone uh, is waiting for the tournament, and uh, really is good. I think the next uh, round of Battlefield Cup will happen next week. Yeah. And then, uh, okay. I hope uh, to see you again next week and have a nice day. Thank you, and thanks for everybody who was watching. It was a fun ride. Didn't didn't last that long, but um, I'll be back soon. Thank you, Magnus. See you. Thank you.